Hi guys, it's Ben Heath from Lead Guru, and in this video, I'm gonna answer a very, very important question, and that's why do Facebook ad results drop off so much after just a couple of days? Now, I'm sure many of you watching this video, many Facebook advertisers have had the experience where they launch a new Facebook ad campaign, and it does really well for anywhere between two days and 10 days, 14 days, something like, along those lines, and then all of a sudden, the number of conversions drops off a cliff, the cost per conversion goes through the roof, whether you're looking to generate sales or, or leads or whatever it is. Um, and that leaves a lot of Facebook advertisers sort of scratching their head wondering why, why is this happening? Why are my results dropping off? And then it leaves them to create new campaigns and they experience the same thing, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what I'm gonna answer in this video. And I've got an example to talk you through it because I think it's something that is bothering a lot of Facebook advertisers and a lot of people in my audience. I see people asking me this question all the time. So I figured a video on it was well worth doing. Now, before I get into that, just wanna quickly mention that at the end of this video, I've got a free Facebook advertising resource that I think you're gonna be really, really interested in. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video for that. So with that said, we are, what you've got right in front of us right now is uh, one of our Facebook ad accounts. Now this was a campaign. I found this because it's a perfect example. This is a campaign that was run almost a year ago, exactly, uh, May 2019. And it did the classic thing of started off really well and then dropped off. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean in a second. Don't really worry about this blue information at the top here. We sort of were playing around with things and, and um, adjusting budget. It's this bottom section that you want to uh, to focus on. Now, this campaign was a messenger campaign. It was just a little bit of an experiment at the time, sort of thing that we do often. Um, I feel like it's part of our job as a Facebook ads agency to be testing things, experimenting with things in order to find out what works best. So we didn't spend a lot of money on it and it was a messenger campaign. So we were looking to get people to send our Facebook page a message um, and in exchange, they were gonna get our five part Facebook ad temp free resource. I'll include a link to that in the video description. In case you want to grab that, I'd, uh, I'd recommend it. It's got loads of example ads you can model from, things like that. So that's what this campaign was looking to do, to generate messages uh, from people that wanted our Facebook ad template, okay? And you can see that it was launched on May 18th and we turned it off exactly 10 days later, May 28th. Now, day one, um, I suppose the campaign started delivering. May 19th, we looked at a cost per message of 84p, as you can see right there, okay, 84p. On the 20th, it went down slightly to 46p, which is the sort of thing we'd expect because day one, it's in the learning phase, day two, it's 46p. Day three, it comes all the way down to 29 pence. Again, learning phase is working its magic, we're really happy. Day four, which is now the 22nd, is 29 pence again. Day five, it's even lower at just 14p. Day six is May 24, 34. The next day it's 40p, the day after that it's 37. So starting to raise a little bit, but not too dissimilar to how we started. We're perfectly happy with this. And then on day nine, it jumps all the way up to £1.67. And on day 10, it jumps all the way to £4.41 and we turn off this um, this campaign. So what's going on there? Why, why the inconsistency in results? So at the beginning, what's happening is exactly what we'd expect to happen. So our first day, the cost is a bit higher than we'd like it to be, 84p, and then over subsequent days, it comes down quite a bit. Subsequent three or four days, it comes down quite a bit. Now that's the Facebook ads learning phase in action, right? So the learning phase is doing its thing. Facebook's starting to work out how to get us cheaper cost per message. And um, you could apply this to conversion campaigns as well, by the way. And that runs nicely for a week. And then it all of a sudden starts to take off. Now, what you may find when you run Facebook ad campaigns is that you have a slightly shortened version of this. So this happened over 10 days. This might happen for you over four days, five days. But why is this happening? Now, we have, I would say, a leading theory that we're pretty confident in. A lot of this stuff we can't be 100% confident because we're sort of filling in the gaps based on the data that we see. But basically, when you first launch Facebook ad campaign, Facebook has a huge amount of data on people that have and haven't interacted with your business previously. Now, just to be clear, this campaign was only uh, sent out to cold audiences, not warm audiences. When you put a Facebook ad campaign out to cold audiences, there's a good chance that a, propor a proportion of, those co of that cold audience are people that have actually interacted with your business before. They are warm audiences. So let's say, for example, you sell um, well, let's, let's take this example. So we're advertising to people that are interested in Facebook advertising because we're advertising a Facebook ad template. Now, there's a good chance that when you just take an audience 
of people that are interested in Facebook advertising, that some of them have had an interaction with me and my business online in some capacity. I mean, we have a Facebook group with more than 30,000 members. I have a YouTube channel that does over 100,000 views a month. Uh, our Facebook page has 135,000 Facebook page likes. So for us, there is a very, very good chance that some people have had an interaction with our business before. Facebook knows that. And even though we've only set up cold audiences within our uh, ad sets, Facebook is going to put our ads in front of people that they know have interacted with our business first because they know that that's going to get us the best result. And it does. What happens is, in our case, it's taken 10 days, you run out of those people fairly quickly. I mean, look, this campaign reached 135,000 people. So you're going to run out of those people quite quickly. And that's when you're then putting your ads in front of truly cold audiences and you start to see that spike in cost. Now, the reason why I said for some of you guys, this might happen over only two, three, four days is because you're going to have significantly smaller, warm audiences than, than me and my business. Um, so you might have this over a shortened time period. But the same thing is, or it is happening. When you first launch a Facebook ad campaign, let's say you're not specifically retargeting, or even if you are, but in a different ad set, within whatever targeting option you select, there's a good chance that some of those people perhaps have visited your website. Maybe they've interacted with your Facebook page already. Perhaps that's how they became interested in, you know, wallpaper. Is your page is all about wallpaper and they like to post from it two days ago. Facebook knows all that. They have all that data. So they're actually putting your ads in front of people that have already interacted with your business, somewhat warm audiences. And those people deliver the fantastic results you know, for those first couple of days. And then once you move on to truly cold audiences, you're starting to see that real spike in costs that makes your campaign unprofitable. So we're pretty, I can't say with 100% certainty, we're pretty sure that's what's happening, provided you're not making any of the classic mistakes like you're advertising to really small audiences and things like that, which of course can lead to that because you can burn the audience out within literally a few days if you're only advertising to, I don't know, 5,000 people or something tiny like that. But provided you're not making those mistakes, this is what we think is happening. You start with the warm audiences, even without realizing it, even though you've selected cold audiences, things like lookalikes, but you quickly burn those out, you get onto truly cold audiences, and that's where you start to see the spike in cost. So what do you do to combat that? First thing is obviously to grow your warm audiences. And I've got lots of videos talking about building an audience. I literally have a video with the title, How to Build an Audience for Facebook Ads. So I'll include a link to that in the video description below. I'd recommend you um, you check that out. That's the first part, build the warm audiences, because then you're, when you run your Facebook ad campaigns, you're going to have uh, more people that are going to be able to purchase, become leads, etc., at that lower cost per conversion. But you know that's that's great and all, and that's something you should be doing. But how does that help you in the short run? It kind of doesn't. Building an audience takes time. It's taken me years to build my audiences. The other side of it that I always come back to when we're running Facebook ad campaigns is that you need to improve your offer. Basically, if you see what we've got here, right? really low cost per conversion at the beginning, and then a spike, what that means is your offer is good enough to generate you customers from your warm audiences, from people who've interacted with your business before. And I, I know, I know in this scenario, we're only targeting cold audiences, but remember some people in those cold audiences will actually have interacted with your business, most likely. So your offer is good enough for warm audiences, but it isn't good enough for truly cold audiences, okay? So you need to improve your offer so that truly cold audiences, people that have not interacted with your business at all in the past, purchase, become a lead, etc., cetera, um, just based on one ad interaction. They don't have to have visited your website, followed your page, any of that sort of stuff, okay? Um, and that might mean that you need to test five different offers. Perhaps it's a heavy discount. Perhaps it's throwing in something free when they buy whatever it is you want them to buy. That could be a product or a service, you could throw in something free. Perhaps it's a finance package. We've run campaigns for clients before where they offer the exact same thing as their competitors, but their cost per lead is 20% or less of their competitors because they have a fantastic finance package with no interest payments over three years, five years, whatever. Your business may or may not be able to do some of these things, but really have a think about the offer. And that is how you avoid that massive drop off in Facebook ad results that so many advertisers struggle with, where they launch a campaign, it does really well for two days, they're really excited, and all of a sudden their hopes and dreams are crushed, and they're like, oh, this isn't going to work for my business, because their results just drop off. 
that's how you get around it. You need to improve your offer so that it not only works with your quasi warm audiences, but also truly cold audiences, because unless you have massive warm audiences, you are going to see a drop off in results at some point. As I said, for some businesses, it's going to take weeks. Uh, for most people, it's going to be a couple of days. For my business at this time, it was about 10 days. OK, so um, that's basically how you go about combating that. OK, now at the beginning of this video, I mentioned that I've got a free Facebook advertising resource that I think you're going to find very interesting. And that is a free webinar that I've created called Three Killer Facebook advertising strategies to double or more your revenue. And in this webinar, I basically break down three different sales funnels that we use for our clients all the time. Each one has generated more than a million dollars uh, from Facebook ads easily. Some of them have done that on a month or continue to do that on a monthly basis for some of our clients. So they're very much tried and tested. And I break down each one of these sales funnels and explain what we've included in each and why. Um, so if you're looking for better results with Facebook advertising and you want to model from a process, a structure that is proven to work, I'd strongly recommend you go ahead and watch this free webinar. There will be a link in the video description, completely free. It's about 60, 70 minutes long. It's probably the best content you're gonna watch Facebook advertising wise. So strongly, strongly recommend you uh, check that out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That's always really appreciated. Helps me out a lot. Please comment below to let me know. That also is very, very helpful. And if you've got any questions, pop those in the comments below. If this has been a bit eye-opening and a bit of a, an aha moment for a lot of you guys, that's going to help you move forward. I'd love to know about it. Let me know. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I release Facebook advertising related content like this multiple times a week. So if you want to make sure you see that going forward, click the subscribe button. You can even click the little bell notification when you do subscribe to turn on notifications so that you are notified when I publish a new video. Thanks a lot, guys. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.